Let's go and welcome everybody to Doki Doki Literature Club Exit Music. That's right, boys and girls, it's finally happening. It's been requested in the comments one, two, three, ten, twenty, thirty times at this point. My viewers on Twitch have even wanted me to play this one. This is one of the most highly regarded mods of all time. So, we're playing it today. I've, I've waited too long, man, and it's a Natsuki mod as well, so that's just a little cherry on top. Pretty much, I'm ready to get into the mod. I don't know really anything about it. So, um, I'm going in blind, even though, like, like I said, I think this is one of the most popular mods of all time as well. This mod is just like 10 out of 10 in every regard, I've heard. So, um, yeah, I guess it, now is a better time than ever, especially since we just finished cosplaying Natsuki. We've been doing some Natsuki mods. I said from the very start of my channel, I'm playing every Natsuki mod. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Without further ado, let's get into it, boys and girls. I don't want to take too long here. I, I felt like I had to give it somewhat of a grandiose introduction, though. I mean, this is really a special mod. Um, I will say, not that probably anyone really cares about this, but while we're still waiting for the game to load, um, this mod actually has copyright in it. So a lot of my videos will be flagged for copyright. And also, um, I can't post these videos to Reddit or anything like that because it has copyright. So yeah, just so you guys know that, I guess. If anyone was curious, if you're like, hey, you're the guy that normally posts on Reddit. Why aren't these going on Reddit? These are banging videos. You should put them to Reddit. You can't. So uh, yeah. Um, it's time to play Doki Doki Exit music. This music's already kind of scaring me. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but I like it, man. I do. Um, last thing I'll say is I think the mod's around like four to five hours long. So this might be the longest mod I've ever played on my channel as well. Maybe tied with like love and literature, but uh, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Rar. <sighs> Monday. the day of the festival all right we're starting off on a pretty crazy day i gotta say uh it's the start of the festival of all days i expected this to be the one where i'd be walking to school with siori but siori isn't answering her phone i consider going to her house to wake her up it's not a big deal to wait for her at least or to help pick her up help wake her up even the simple gesture of walking uh her to school makes her really happy besides I told her yesterday that things will always be the same as they've all things will be the same as they always have been jesus please read correctly rar just focus i know you're excited about the mod you want to get into it you're theory crafts and you're thinking just focus on reading the text a little bit better champ okay let's uh let's get um what's the word i'm looking for dialed in I can't believe I even forgot that word. I've used it about 10,000 times in my life. It's almost as, as used as let's go. But yeah, we got to dial in here, read the text. Let's get absorbed again. I am ready, baby. I'm not going to lie. Every mod I've played pretty much has had default text boxes. So just seeing blue, I'm just like, ooh, this mod's <laughs> pretty quality. Am I right? <laughs> Meanwhile, it literally means nothing. It takes two seconds to do. Okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, that's all she needs and what I want to give her. The hell with it. I'll go get her. Yes! Pog! I grab the cupcakes Natsuki and I made yesterday and make our way to Siori's. We're on Natsuki timeline, baby. That was the flag. That was the statement right there, boys and girls. Whew, let's go. I reach Siori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more of like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Siori's room, I knock on her door. Siori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I didn't really want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't this kind of a breach of privacy? Preach of pr breach of privacy? She really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you from the heavens above. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. 
Also, shout outs to like the four Sioris that are now commenting on like all my videos. You're awesome. Hopefully you're still sticking by and, and you like these videos even though I'm not cosplaying anymore. But yeah, I noticed you guys. It's really awesome. Thanks. I feel more a part of the community having comments from you guys. It's, it's, it's actually really special. So thank you very much. Um, anyway, thank God they're not dead. Oh, yeah, that is my mouth. Re? Who's Re? Roar. Siori stands at the front of the bed, a long rope in her hand. It's tied in a hangman's noose. In the shock of the moment, I release my grip on the cupcakes. What the fuck? It, it's, it's not what it is. It's not what it looks like. Like hell, it's not what it looks like. I, I'm so sorry, Rar. I can't believe this. Shinji Takunai! Moi! Why? We gotta focus. Don't make light of the situation. It's serious. Siori wouldn't do something like this. Jesus, Siori. I should have known it was this bad. Siori drops the noose on the floor. Siori. Why haven't, you, why haven't you told anyone about this? I I don't want to waste people's time. You're not wasting anybody's time. We're all here and we just want you to be happy, like you've made us. You, you really deserve to be happy. I know you don't think that now, but, well, it's the truth. And I'm determined to help you every step of the way. But to start, you need to talk about this. I... I can't. I just... There's a short pause. All the silence aside from Sori sobbing. All is silent aside from Sori sobbing. I... I was about to do it, Rar. I'd have never seen you again. Sori, could you imagine if I found you like that? <laughs> meta. Ugh, bad meta. Feels bad, man, meta. I... 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 Siori, listen, it doesn't matter what you're going through. You'll always have a reason to stay with us. Even if there's one thing worth living for, then you need to hold on to that. And I know there is. You've told me that yourself today. Roar. She releases her grip on me and backs away. We all know it'll be tough, but we'll be there for you. We all will. No matter what. Roar, don't. Now, listen to me. You need to talk to somebody, some, a professional about something like this. I'm not taking no for an answer, Siori. I don't think I'm, I'm ready. We, we can go another time. Not a chance. You seriously need professional help as soon as possible. We're leaving now. I, I don't, I don't know if I can. Siori, do it. For me, if not for yourself. She sniffles, wiping her face with her sleeve. Oh, uh, okay. Come on, let's go. To the doctors. We take the bus. Don't mind me pumping out lotion. Don't worry, it's not for nefarious purposes. I just have dry hands. I'm not, I'm not into necrophilia, you freaking weirdo. Roar. The festival. Screw the festival. You're more important than that. Well... I need to get changed first. Oh. Well, I'm not leaving this room, so you better be comfortable changing in front of me, missus. Missy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the word missy in my life, but it just felt like the correct word to use. Oh. Of course. I nod and take a step outside the door, reaching down to pick up the rope first, taking it with me just in case. Okay, okay, okay. She gently nods, shutting the door in my face. <clears throat> I'm a little anxious leaving her alone right after... Something like that. Regardless, she needs her privacy. I kneel down, beginning to clean up the cupcake massacre littering the floor with a towel. Natsuki's gonna kill me. I return downstairs and untie the noose, dropping the loose rope into the trash. I linger downstairs for a minute or two before heading back upstairs. She's probably ready by now. I knock on Siori's door and she answers. Ready? It... What? She, is it just me or did Siori get into even more casual clothes? You know what I mean? <laughs> Isn't this outfit literally called Siori Casual? 
All right, sure. I guess we're ready to go outside in public to the doctor's office now. Okay, Siori. I think it was a joke in Doki Doki College Club, but Siori also was like, I need to get ready and look my best. And then she comes out in this. Like, is this just a joke in all mods? I don't get it. <laughs> Siori nods, her eyes glued to, the, glued to the floor. This is what's best for me, right? She stares at me, expect expectant for an answer, of an answer. I feel uneasy, but answer anyway. I know it is. Come on now, let's get going. I'm sitting down in a waiting room outside of the doctor's office, patiently waiting for Siori to return. I'm anxious. My phone buzzes quietly. I remember that day was supposed to be the day of the festival, but today is. Texas from Monica. Where are you? I have to reply. I'm busy. Really, Rar, please don't tell me that you got cold feet about the poems again or something. It's a bit more serious than that. What's going on? I don't know if I can tell you right now, but it's serious, okay? You have to believe me. Fine. Just hurry up and bring Siori with you. I look up at the door. Through the small window, I see Siori breaking down in her chair, her head resting on the doctor's desk. I feel terrible knowing that I let her reach such a point due to my own ne negligence. Behind me, the door swing, uh, the door that leads from the entrance to my waiting room swings open, and a couple of nurses walk by. I think I subconsciously read swings on the second line while I was like, it was weird, I don't know. But my phone buzzes again in my head, and, what? And I turn my attention back to it. It's just me and Yuri here. Damn it, I hate that bitch. <laughs> Why? Where's Natsuki? I don't know. Please be here quick and bring Siori, okay? It's a personal issue. I can't promise anything, but I'll try to get to the festival before it's over, okay? Okay. A couple of minutes of idle waiting pass before I get another message from her. Forget it. Everybody's already here and they're waiting. We have to cancel. I return the phone to my pocket, running my hands through my hair. I know feel terrible for Siori, the fact that she's in such pain right now and how oblivious I was to all of it. But on the other hand, I also feel like I've put Monica and Yuri on the spot in front of all of our classmates. Monica and Yuri. That reminds me of something that Monica told me. Where is Natsuki? Suddenly the door <clears throat> to the waiting room opens again, and another wa nurse walks by. However, she's accompanied by somebody familiar. Natsuki, she's beat the fuck up by her dad. Ah, uh, Pepe hands. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm probably right. Sorry for. We should. I'm. I shouldn't be doing the hard reads. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. I'm not. I spoiled, but I. Ugh. It's just. It's obvious, right? You, you, you knew, right? I mean, what, what else? Would, why else was Natsuki not there? And why else would we see a familiar face coming in, right? Natsuki, are you okay? I can actually see your nostrils for once. I thought anime girls didn't have noses. She quickly turns and runs back the way she came, exiting the hospital in tears. I jump out of my seat and to, uh, to speak to her, but I notice the nurse starting, staring at me suspiciously. Jesus, I am like changing so many words into other words right now. Please, focus. <laughs> I take a seat once more, anxious now that Natsuki's well-being about Natsuki's well-being, as well as Siori's. Uh, excuse me? Wh what happened to her? She explains how Natsuki wandered into the hospital, bloody and bruised, looking for help. Poor Natsuki. She then cautiously asks if I had anything to do with Natsuki's injuries. Christ, no! I don't even know what's going on! I had to bring my friend here. She tried to... Stop myself. I doubt Siori would want me to talk to, uh, talk about her struggle so openly. Not now, anyway. Well, listen, it's serious, okay? I bite my lip as the nurse continues on her way. My phone buzzes again. Are you sure you don't know where Siori or Natsuki are? <laughs> Monica! If Monica has uh, freaking sentient powers and she knows what I'm doing right now and she's being this much of a bitch, I'm gonna have to have a word with her, that's all I'm saying. <clears throat> I already told you, I don't know. I can't tell her about Natsuki either. Chances are it's her own personal issue, and she'd have to deal with it her own way. Still, maybe I should text her. It doesn't matter anyway. 
We had to cancel our performance. People are complaining about the cupcakes not being here. Yuri's gone for some fresh air. Jesus, I'm sorry, okay? My hands are tied here. I can't do anything to help right now. Okay, whatever. Thanks a lot, Rar. <sighs> I literally sighed without reading I sigh, by the way. It is like, oh my god, Jesus. Now I've pissed Monica off because I couldn't bring myself to tell her what happened. I decided to tell, or I decided to text Natsuki quickly about what I just saw. Natsuki? Is that supposed to be not? I guess that makes sense. Um, a couple of minutes pass with no response. The message doesn't even mark as red. The office door swings open and Siori emerges. Rar, are you okay? Not really. I'm stressed out. How are you? I... I don't really want to talk about it. Are you sure? Because I'm here for you, I can just... Rar, please. Can we just drop this? I just don't want to make a big deal out of it, especially in front of the other club members. I stand up. Siori, I don't think you understand how big of a deal this is. You nearly... <laughs> you nearly killed yourself! I think you should go home and rest for a couple days, okay? I guess I'll have to, right? <laughs> Siori lets out a small bout of almost nervous laughter. It's a good idea, at least. You know that. But what about the festival? You already ruined it, Siori, so you can go home, okay? In good conscience. <laughs> God. I hesitate. I don't want to make Siori feel like it's her fault about the performance being cancelled, so I decide to start with Natsuki's absence. Well, Natsuki didn't show up either. I want to get to cancel the performance, unfortunately. You didn't... You didn't tell her, did you? About... No, I didn't. Unless you want to talk to her about yourself, she won't know. Okay? Siri nods. I think I'll tell her. She knows why why her plans for the festival were ruined. Fourth wall breaking again, meta? I like it, if, if that was intentional. I can tell what she's going to say. It's not your fault, Siori. None of this is. Siri grabs my hand tightly, crushing it in a vice grip. Crushing it like a vice grip. You can talk to her if you really want to. Hell, she'd probably be able to give better advice than me. Maybe... Did you tell my parents? I sigh. I did, yeah. I'm sorry, though. I felt like I had to, and... Thanks. I was scared I'd have to tell them myself. So he glances downward at the pristine floor. I love you, Roar. I... Despite her condition, I can't lie to her. I... Love you like a friend. It would be unfair on her end. To have her hopes disrupted like that, keep my mouth shut. A minute or so passes. A minute? That's awkward as freaking heck. She says I love you when he's standing here for two minutes or more and say nothing? Oh. <laughs> anyway, we should get going. There's no point in going to school now. Why? What time is it? It's about midday. We missed the festival, and if we turn up now, Monica's just gonna be pissed. Come on, I'll take you home. We can talk some more there. She gently nods, following my lead. We exit the hospital and ride a bus back to her house. I decide, uh, yeah, okay. I'm trying to find, like, a good time to end here. Um, I decide to stay with Siri in her house, just to make sure she's feeling better. We have at least a few hours together, but we spend that time talking and watching shows together. Her mom arrives first, thanking me for letting me know what happened. I tell her that it's no problem. She tells me that Siori's father is on his way, and that I'm free to leave if I want to. After I'm sure she's safe, I leave her with her mother and head home. Okay, I, I, I guess this is good, because now we just got home and we're going to make a little sandwich, sit down and relax, I guess. Um, so yeah, I guess this is the first episode of... Exit music, man. I don't know if it's just because there's so much hype built around it, but, like, my heart's, like, literally racing playing this game. It's, like, really weird. Like, there's never... There's never... I've never felt such high stakes playing a mod before. In a good way, though. Um, I am enjoying it a lot so far. I like how it's continuing from the, from the original game. It's like, um... 
it doesn't just act like everything's happy, Genki, and okay, but also like Siori's not dead, and we're like trying to fix that. And trying pretty hard for once. So yeah, I do like how this is going so far. Um, and of course it's Natsuki, so I ain't complaining no matter what. But yeah, um, with that being said, like the video if you enjoyed, comment down below if you're excited for more exit music, if you told me to play it, if you're like, I was here, I was the one that told him to play it, whatever you want. Let me know how you're liking the mod, if it's your first time seeing it, whatever. Um, and yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to click the subscribe button if you enjoyed and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video every day so you don't miss out. Um, but yeah, I also live stream on Twitch every day besides Monday and Friday. Link below to my Twitch channel will be in the description if you want to go over there and follow and get more content from me. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Much love, take care, and have a damn good one.